Hey guys, it's Mandy and I have a Target grocery haul for you guys. This is just a kind of a random uh, grocery haul and it is um, a mostly gluten free uh, grocery haul. We are trying to convert to gluten free just to try it out for a little bit and um, so we're gradually trying to move in some gluten free things into the house and so that's why you're going to see um, things that have the gluten free on it on many things. So yeah, I don't think it's 100% gluten free but I think that it's mostly gluten free. I think that there's a couple things that have some gluten in it. But anyways, here we go. We got some bananas over here. We have tostadas. I'm going to make those with some refried beans. And we have chicken broth. And um, these are the gluten free pastas that we are going to try out. So we got elbow noodles, penne, and spaghetti. I think it's pretty cool that Market Pantry um, actually sells um, gluten free in that brand now. And then I got uh, D'Amico's and Sons um, Caesar salad. Croutons obviously are not going to be gluten free in that. Um, we got some spaghetti sauce with tomato basil garlic and then a roasted garlic parmesan. Zatarins, red beans and rice. We got some snacks for the kids, the oatmeal cookie, um, Annie's bars, those are gluten free. Some milk, honey roasted peanuts. And we're gonna try these out. The kids have never had these before, but they um, don't have a ton of uh, gluten free cereal. So we're gonna try this one out. It was actually the one that was more affordable. So we got the corn checks. And we got the Snyder's um, pretzels. The kids actually do like uh, this brand of uh, pretzels. We just never had the gluten-free kind, so we'll see if uh, they like the gluten-free pretzel of the same brand that we usually get. We usually get a big box at Costco with the little bags in it. We usually already get these um, chicken tenders uh, from Target. They're the Simply Smart ones, and they are gluten-free. We used to get these all the time just because. And then we have um, some russet regular potatoes here. We have pineapple chunks. And we have a bunch of yogurts here. I think they're all strawberry, banana, and uh, vanilla. Those are the flavors there. Got Chobani flips. You guys know, most of you guys know, that this is like my favorite yogurt. And I think that the crumble has gluten in it. So I might not be able to eat these anymore while we're trying to do this gluten-free thing. And I almost cried when I realized that, so that made me sad. Um, got some taco blend cheese here for the tostados. Got um, some provolone cheese. I'm going to be making um, tuna melts. And that's why I have this can of tuna here because we have tuna, but we need it one more can. So we got this um, to go with that. Corn for soups and things like that. Some turkey smoked sausage. Um, we call this our sick soup because there's really nothing to it. Um, so they got some chicken noodle to stock, to add to our six soup. And then we got some Simply Balanced um, diced tomatoes, the ones with no salt added. Got two of those. Reef fried beans for our tostadas. Got two cans of those. And then we got some eggs. We usually get our eggs from Costco, but we're not going to Costco quite yet, so we just got some to hold us over until we go to Costco. Got two Roma tomatoes. Um, a green pepper, a couple of avocados, and we have garlic, fresh garlic, an onion, and I think that that is, oh wait, no, we got um, buttermilk ranch dressing, and got some more uh, raisins for the kids' snacks. They love raisins and craisins for snacks, so got some more of those. Now I think that that is it. That is our haul for Target for this week, and um, yeah, we'll be doing Costco uh, pretty soon. So that'll be coming up next. And we'll see you guys in the next video or vlog. Please hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Give me a thumbs up if you guys still love these types of videos and we'll keep on posting them for you guys. Thanks guys. Bye. Okay guys, so tonight for dinner I'm making tuna melts um, and I'm making them a little bit different without mayo this time. So I put a little bit of Parmesan cheese in there and a little bit of zesty Italian dressing. I'm going on a complete limb here. And uh, provolone cheese and I'm going to use regular wheat bread. So this is just kind of a quick meal that I'm trying to throw together tonight. And um, I'll let you guys know how we like it. Okay, tuna is on all of them and now I'm ready to put cheese on. Okay guys, so this is 
is the finishing result of um, the tuna melt. This is actually my second one because I made a second batch. So this is how it looks. It's just pretty simple. I add a little bit of uh, chipotle Tabasco on top and then we're just going to have um, some salad. And that's what's for dinner tonight. And this is Caesar too, by the way. Okay, guys. This is what we are making for dinner tonight. I'm going to do potatoes and sausage. Um, so I'm, I have about seven potatoes here and a green pepper that I'll probably use all of. Half of a uh, large onion, turkey smoked sausage, and I will use about four of these garlic cloves. And yeah, it's, it's just a pretty simple dinner. Shouldn't take longer than 30 minutes um, to cook up and probably about uh, 10 minutes advanced to prep. So here we go. Okay, so all the potatoes are pretty much um, done. I'm just gonna add the sausage and onion and green pepper to it. I'm gonna put the garlic in here in just a minute after the soup comes, and then I'll put it in here and just kind of look. Excuse my voice, I'm not feeling good. Um, so we are just hanging out and we are having pizza for dinner tonight so that I can uh, rest a little bit and not have to cook. So we're having a cheese pizza, another cheese pizza here, and then we have um, uh, Canadian bacon and mushroom pizza. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. We're watching Christmas movies and um, the kids don't have school tomorrow. They're off for Friday. So it's like a Friday night for us on a Thursday. So. Hope you guys are having a great day, and this is what we're having for dinner tonight. See you guys in the next one. Okay, guys, this is what I'm making for dinner tonight. We're going to have some uh, tostadas. Um, I don't make these very often, but my kids really like them, so I don't know why I don't make them more often. But they're the flat um, uh, corn tortillas and refried beans and chopped tomato, chopped onion, and I'm going to saute the onion. And um, I'm going to use about half a pack of this and um, avocado, and then we just got this, which I'm excited about. It's like the chili lime um, Trader Joe's seasoning that I like, but it's actually the, the brand that Trader Joe's is, um, got it from. So, got that, and then we just have um, cheese and sour cream. And yeah, I said taco seasoning. I'll put the half pack of the taco seasoning into my refried green. Sorry, my voice is disaster, you guys. Getting over being sick, and so my voice is still a little bit um, behind. But I feel much better than I thought. So this is what we're tonight. I'm gonna start cooking. Forgot to add that I'm also gonna chop up about three cloves of fresh garlic to salt it with my onion. Okay, guys. So this is the end result of dinner. This is my tostada. I thought I show you mine because mine is probably the most has the most stuff on it. The babies don't like anything but the cheese and sour cream. So this is mine with onion, sauteed onion and garlic. Uh, diced tomato, Roma tomato, avocado, sour cream, and a little bit of the tahine um, seasoning here sprinkled on top. So this is what we're having for dinner. It looks yummy. Guys, have any questions? Please let me know in the comments. What'd you guys have for dinner tonight? How about you comment? Let me know that.